Hi, I'm Linda Sinko, the Site Interpretive Coordinator at Cahokia Mound State Historic Site in Collinsville, Illinois. The topic of this video is Volunteer Appreciation. At Cahokia Mound State Historic Site, we've always depended on our volunteers. They're an integral part to our everyday operations. And I came across an old article I'd like to share with you today. April is Volunteer Appreciation Month, and this was written by Irma Bombeck, June 24, 1975. And while it's over 40 years ago, I think it's still very relevant. I had a dream the other night that every volunteer in this country, disillusioned with the lack of compassion, had set sail for another country. As I stood smiling on the pier, I said, goodbye cream chicken, goodbye foam committees, so long disease of the month, no more saving old egg cartons, no more getting out the vote, au revoir, playground duty, bake sales, and three hour meetings. As the boat got smaller and they could no longer hear my shouts, I reflected, serves them right, a bunch of yes people. All they had to do was put their tongue firmly against the roof of their mouth and make an O oh sound. No, 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 no. It would certainly have spared them a lot of grief. Oh well, who needs them? The hospital was quiet as I passed it. Rooms were void of books, flowers, and voices. The children's wing held no clowns, no laughter. The reception desk was vacant. The home for the aged was like a tomb. The blind listened for a voice that never came. The infirm were imprisoned by wheels on their chair that never moved. Food grew cold on trays that would never reach the mouths of the hungry. All the social agencies had closed their doors, unable to implement their programs for scouting, recreation, drug control, big sisters, big brothers, YMCA, YWCA, the lonely and the abandoned. The health agencies had a sign at the window, cures for cancer, muscular dystrophy, birth defects, multiple sclerosis, emphysema, sickle cell anemia, kidney disorders, heart disease, and so on, have been canceled for lack of interest. The schools were strangely quiet. No field trips, no volunteer aides on the playgrounds or in the classroom. In the colleges, scholarships and financial support were no more. The flowers on church altars withered and died. Children in day nurseries lifted their arms, but there was no one to hold them in love. Alcoholics cried in despair, but no one answered, and the poor had no resource for health care or legal aid. The symphony hall was black. There were no museums. I fought in my sleep to regain a glimpse of the ship of volunteers just one more time. It was to be my last glimpse of civilization as it was meant to be. And while the focus of our existence today has changed a little bit. I certainly see evidence of volunteerism. Recently, I read through some old volunteer information at Cahokia Mounds that talked about how many volunteers were instrumental in moving the artifacts, displays, and records from the old museum over 30 years ago to the present day interpretive center. They even figured out how to do things without a telephone. When I started at Cahokia Mounds, it was the week before Kids Day. Amazingly, the volunteers pitched in and working alongside the staff were able to help about 3,000 kids have a Cahokia experience. I was very impressed, very impressed. Volunteering at Cahokia Mounds is unique in that it's a World Heritage Site. We get about 300,000 visitors a year. Our volunteers help being museum guide, information desk, gift tours, educational programs, the library, clerical work, and also they work in the gift shop. 
Today would have been the volunteer appreciation dinner, so I'm thinking of, over, of the over 80 volunteers that help at Cahokia Mounds. They help it to be a thriving historic site. They're very much appreciated, and I look forward to seeing them soon. If you're interested in volunteering, please go to the website, cahokiamounds.org, click on support, and send in the application. And I'd like to toast all the volunteers. We'll see you soon. Thank you.